Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, all the well wishes you guys have sent me. Um, this recovery thing has just been a trial and error um, situation, just with seeing what works for me, seeing what I, you know, yesterday I did my pick a pile actually laying down because sitting sometimes is hard because I'm using obviously my muscles and I'm exerting more energy, um, but I'm doing okay. I'm doing a lot better than I anticipated and your well wishes, your energy, everything um, has been really helpful. So thank you. Um, okay, so some of you guys have commented on some of my stuff on my table. So I never really share what is going on. No pun intended, share. This bee is by Share at Wing and Bell. I'll put her information below. I love the bee as well. I get a lot of comments on that. This is actually a um, nude that Michelle made and it's Sister Moon nude because I designed it. So um, I feel like it looks like under the moon and stars. So if you guys want one, you could tell her that. And then Michelle also made the roses. And then this was actually also a custom design that I designed specifically for my pearls of wisdom. I wanted a pearl pyramid, which I love this one, but I always have different stuff on my table. So I'll try to introduce what's going on okay so today i feel a little more like centered in my routine i guess i woke up and did what i needed to do so um woke up get ready to do my dm reading i'm sitting up so but i appreciate your guys's patience your guys's love and just everything you have sent me you know i i just have so much love from this community you guys are my sisters and I always try to reply when you email me. It's not always, you know, I can't always send long emails, but um, I always try to, you know, make sure you guys feel the love back. So I appreciate that. Okay, so let's see where the masculine is at. I want to do past, present, and future energy. There's not going to be reversals here. So, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so the past energy we had four of wands. Um, I feel when you guys met the masculine, you guys, what I'm getting from this is both of you had this idea of what your life was supposed to look like, this very cookie cutter view. And the masculine was like, you know what? I'm gonna get married. This is the kind of person I'm gonna get married to. Not you, but the idea he had in his mind, that stable sense of like expectation of what he was gonna have, okay? Um, this is like the kind of home I'm going to have. This is the kind of life I'm going to have. But you guys shattered that view. Like, that is no more. It was very, it was like a whirlwind that came into his life when the feminine came into his life, okay? Currently, he's trying to, I feel like for me, what I'm getting from this Seven of Pentacles is pick up the pieces of his old um, belief system and like grow a new idea of like what his life is going to look like. He's replanting seeds. He's reimagining, you know, it's like his eyes are closed and he's jumping into a new reality of how he thinks it's going to look. So, um, he's rebuilding himself after kind of, um, losing that sense of what he thought his life was going to look like. And then he's, in the future going to actually, it's interesting because this is like planting seeds and then look at this, this is a tree that's grown and he's looking at it. I find that very interesting. So I feel like he is working towards, mm, sorry, I'm drinking my coffee. Um, What he really wants to manifest, what is it that he really wants? He wants to be surrounded by what he wants versus what was expected of him, okay? So this is how I see this planting and then this tree. So he's trying to imagine what kind of garden he wants. What kind of tree does he want to be under? What does his life, what does he want out of his life versus what was expected from him? Okay. So um, I'm going to use Divine Masculine Journey to Sacred Union and see what are some of his other energies. This is from Karen at Soul Magic 99. She has a beautiful channel and she makes beautiful decks. I love her decks. So let's see some clarity on this okay this four of wands so what kind of knocked the masculine off his off his um course was that you guys had this amazing sexual chemistry that like 
blew everything out of the water, blew his preconceived notions, blew his idea of what partnership will meant. I think he had just had a very vanilla idea of his life. And then you were like the color that came into his world. Okay. Is the feeling I get. And by the way, this is, God, I can't remember. These are both from Michelle at Rising Sun Oracle. This is like the third eye or like something about seeing clearly I can't remember the name of this bracelet and this is the root chakra one she has all the different chakras so this is the root chakra bracelet which I always gravitate towards root chakra energy okay so it was the amazing sexual chemistry that um kind of brought him to a different idea of what he wants out of partnership okay <sighs> look at this sexual longing we have two sexual cards here so he's trying to see can can he build off of this because obviously there's a strong sexual connection with the feminine these are not all sexual cards in this sacred union deck i mean these are probably the main two so we've already got the main two coming up right off the bat so he's wondering can he presently he's wondering can he build something that could grow out of this or is it just lust is it love that I'm feeling? Is this the love that I've been searching for? Is this real or am I dreaming? Okay, so that's where he's at. So what's the nine of cups energy about? I am your twin flame. Oh my God, you guys. Can it be more clear? So he's um, wishing, I don't know why this song just came in my head. Wishing and hoping and dreaming it's like each night in your arms i have no idea why that song just came up but this is like he's longing to be reunited with the person you know i was thinking last night i'm like i wish i kind of never told anyone because i feel when you build up this energy around your twin flame and you tell everyone about it it's like you create such this huge expectation the masculines kind of have it right, even though the reason why they're oblivious to it is, the reason why they're not talking about it is more because they're oblivious, but it actually kind of saves the connection because the feminines are like blabbermouths. They tell everyone, this is my masculine. They start YouTube channels. They make it so, there's such energy around it that it's hard to almost like even manifest it. It almost prevents manifestation. And we have manifestation here with the nine of cups. The masculines have it right because they're the ones in the connection that don't build it up to this like crazy level, okay? So I feel that um, someone ha in this connection has to keep it sacred because I feel the feminines, that's something we need to work on. When you talk about something so much, you almost kill like the magic of it, okay? So I don't know why I had to share that, but... I feel the, the masculine keeps it under wraps, which is actually good because you need that balance because the feminine definitely doesn't. Okay, let's see some more of the energies going on within this connection. Okay, so I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna do past, present, future again. I always get this in the past. It's because I feel like something sprung up for both parties when they met, okay? There was like a blossoming, it was like springtime. After, it was like the rain came. You guys could have been in very like stormy situations when you first met or prior to. And then it was like flowers that came, like the sun came out and everything started to bloom and blossom, okay? And um, it was very magical, it was very exciting. It was very like a new period after a storm. And it was just very fresh and new. Okay, that was the beginning, that was the past. Let's see present. Now the masculine is, this is the energy I got. He's trying to be more like solid and stable about this. He's needing more guidance. He's needing more direction on how does he navigate such like a sacred connection? Because this is not something he ever dealt with before. This is new territory for him. He's trying to get direction. He could be seeking it from you know, people in his world. Um, he's trying to find ways it could be spiritually. Okay, and then we have social media here. So, um, 
this is future energy so i feel um guided to tell you guys to just be careful what you're posting whether it's like you're in separation or whether you get back with your masculine just be very like the feminine is really like we can't always blame the masculines for everything the feminine really needs to work on her like her boundaries and her privacy because not not everyone that's looking at your social media has your best interest i also feel like something may happen in the future even today i mean the future could be later today where you see something on social media don't you know realize that what you're putting out there first off it doesn't need to be really what's going on in your life and what you're perceiving what's going on with your masculine doesn't need to be what's um interpreted as what's really going on with him okay so i want to get some messages from the masculine this is what he didn't say what does the masculine want to communicate to the feminine here Actually, I am going to use this deck, but first I want to elaborate on these past, present, and future energies with another deck here. Okay, so this is going to be some energies from the past, from my blast from the past. What was going on here in the past? Okay, trips. So for me, I see this as... Um, you either got, you guys took a trip like um it was like a trip like you know and you're like oh that was a trip like this was like something very unexpected out of the ordinary um took you guys to another place it could have been almost like a fantasy in the beginning you could have literally been tripping but like um and it was almost like unexpected right the masculine was just walking around you you imagine him walking like on the concrete and all of a sudden he trips like he he thought he knew each step but now he needs guidance because this was a trip. But it also could have been like you guys met on a trip. I just thought of like a cruise or something. You met when you were away from your normal life. This was like a very unique situation where you both weren't in your normal energy, okay? Let's see presently. New location. There's a lot about new, okay? So, um, you know... I feel that the masculine is in a different place than even what you remember, even if the last time you spoke to him was like a few months ago. I feel like he's in a new place and he's needing guidance. Like things are shifting for him currently because this is the current energy, okay? He could have even moved to a brand new like zip code or city, but I feel this is more energetically he's in a new place, okay? And also with that social media, I do feel like he's looking at what you're doing so make sure whatever you're putting out there is how you want to be perceived yeah and he, there's social media games here okay so he's playing games you know social media wise and you may be too so just be careful of the energy you're putting out with that all right okay let's see what he wants to communicate this masculine what does the masculine want to say this is from what he didn't say by rising sun oracle I can hear your thoughts. Continue to communicate with me. I am listening. Okay, so there's some telepathy going on here. You guys might be having that feeling and that's confirmation, okay? He can sense what you're feeling. Even if you feel like really detached from your masculine, he's still there. He's still connected. There's still an energetic tie there if he's your twin flame, which we had in the beginning. So you know this is your twin flame if you're watching and that resonated for you, then that's your confirmation, okay? What else does he want to communicate? You have forever changed my life. I am confident we will reunite again. Um, like I said, you were the thing that came along and changed the course for this masculine. So definitely you've changed the game for him, okay? I am working with my guides to clear negative energy to be able to make room for a new and blessed beginning with you. You guys, we have, look at this, new location and needing guidance. That's, he's looking to his guides. This is so confirmation here, okay? That's beautiful. 
all right so he is working he you know this could be very much from his higher self he might not even realize it it's almost like his higher self is disconnected from his 3d self so this is what his like higher self is doing but behind the scenes so you guys may be judging your masculine from a very 3d level it's time for you guys to get into that 5d level as well and realize there's other things going on with his spiritual self that he may not even be aware of okay so um i'm going to get some messages from hannah from soul tribe my soul tribe um tarot divine feminine align i love this deck to see what are some things that could help the feminine right now okay what are some things the feminine needs to know breathe deep something is surfacing to be released okay so th this is a time of change this is a time where you're going to be releasing things your masculine is going to be releasing things there's shifts that you don't even know about okay i do feel that energy a lot with this reading it's time for a past life meditation okay so maybe finding that even on youtube or working with someone releasing stuff from the past life or maybe just realizing that some of the things coming up in your life have to do with past life i was just thinking that yesterday like there's certain locations that remind me of my masculine that are not i've never even been there with him there's no memories associated and all i could think of is we had a past life there because they're like it's such a deep feeling and i'm like why does this place remind me of him it's very strange so there's something from the past that needs to be worked through here okay from a past life that could be even affecting your relationship you guys look at this union is here i'm telling you we have I am working with my guides to clear negative energy to make room for a new and blessed beginning with you. Union is here. So I do feel like once you guys get past the stuff from a past life, you will have union here. Okay. All right. Let's get some letters to see. N-E-G-F-W. P. There's that Paul again. You guys know I always say that. I have no idea why. You guys can actually see these, so I'm not going to lift them because when I do, they just fall anyway. We have N, E, W, G, P, F, and C. Okay? And then some charms. We've got a cat. We've got this arrow. This love, this, you know, there's love here. We know that. The sun, this could be Leo energy. The sun, I told you guys, like, the sun came out, spring, the storm ended. Um, could be something uh, where you are, when it's sunny, like when summer comes, okay? And then we have this cat. We have a seahorse again. I know a lot of you said that's, like, your sign. You know, I think male seahorses are the ones that um, get pregnant. So this could also be the masculine, like getting pregnant with like new ideas and stuff like that. Then we have like this Pegasus, which is just like magical energy, okay? All right, so guys, that is your Divine Masculine reading. I hope it resonated with you guys. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.